In this video, we are going to learn how to simplify a Boolean expression. So without wasting time, let's get started. So this is our equation a into a plus b into a plus b plus c. And we are going to start with this equation. So first of all, we'll know if we want to represent this equation, how many gates we supposed to use, right? So here we have AND operation, then here we have OR operation, here we have AND operation again, then OR operation and OR operation. So if we want to represent this equation, we're supposed to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minimum 5 gates we need to use. And now let's simplify this equation and at the end of the simplification process, we'll check how many gates we're supposed to use to implement the same equation. So in step 1, we are going to multiply these two terms. So as a result, we'll get a into a plus a into b and these terms will stay as it is. Now, as per this equation, a into a is equal to a. So here we can represent a into a is equal to a. So we'll get a plus a into b into a plus b plus c. Now we are going to multiply these two terms. So first we'll multiply a with this and then we'll multiply a b with this. So we'll get a into a, a into b, a into c. And then we are going to multiply a b with all these three terms. So a a b, a b b and a b c. Now here this a into a will result into a. The same way this a into a will result into a. This b into b will result into b. So for the simplified equation will look like this a plus a into b plus a c plus a b plus a b plus a b c. Now here you can see this a b plus a b. So a plus a will result into a. So as a result a b plus a b will result into a b. So in place of this 2 a b we can write single a b. Now here this a plus a b will be equal to a. It is just an boolean law. But how this happens let me show you a plus a into b. So when we take a common then we will get a into 1 plus b. Now 1 plus b is equal to 1. How? Here. a plus 1 is equal to 1. So in place of a here it is b. So 1 plus b is equal to 1. So what's left? a. Right? So we can write a plus a into b is equal to a. So for the simplified equation looks like this. This term is converted into a and this 2ab plus ab is converted into this single ab. Now similar to this you can see in this equation a plus ac. So a plus ac will be result into a and similar thing you can see over here ab plus abc. So just assume this ab is equal to x. So this equation looks like x plus xc. So that result into x, right? So for the simplified equation looks like this. This is simplified into a and this entire term simplified into a into b. Now same thing we repeat again in this equation a plus a into b will be result into a. So this is the simplified version of this equation. So here we can say for this equation whatever input we give as a the same will get as output. There is one more thing I want to share with you in this video that there is no single defined way to solve boolean expression. Here this is one way to solve the boolean expression. You can find your own way to solve the same boolean expression. Now let me show you another way to solve the same expression. Now let us solve the same equation using another way. And I think this way would be even more shorter than the previous way. Here you can see a into a plus b. So look at here. A boolean law a into a plus b is equal to a so we can directly represent this entire equation with a so we write a in place of this and a plus b plus c as it is now we are going to multiply this a with all these three terms then we get a into a plus a into b plus a into c now this a into a is equal to a so we'll get a over here, a plus a b plus a c. Now a plus a b will be result into a that we have just seen previously, right? I'm not going to repeat the same thing. So this will be entirely shortened to a, a plus a c. 
Now again this term will be shortened as A. A plus AC is equal to A. So this is how you can simplify a Boolean expression. So there are multiple ways to solve any Boolean expression. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button. Now let's jump to the next Boolean expression. And next expression is this. Now here this dash means bar, right? So this equation simply looks like this. So a plus b's bar bracket over entire bar into a b plus a b c. So consider this dash as bar. Now let's move ahead. So here again we have a b plus a b into c. So we can directly consider this as a b or we can go with the traditional way. What is the traditional way? We'll take a b common and then we'll write 1 plus c. So here we are taking a b common writing 1 plus c and this 1 plus c is equal to 1. So in next step we'll get a b as a result. Now here this term is like this. So first what we'll do, first we'll consider this b c bar as d. So this equation looks like this a plus d bar. Here d is equal to b c bar. So now you see over here a plus d bar by applying de Morgan's theorem we can write it as a bar into d bar right now we'll replace the value of this d so now when we solve this we can write a bar into this bar as it is but this d is equal to b c bar so we'll write b c bar so the final equation is a bar into b c bars bar so the simplified equation looks like this a bar into bc is double bar into ab now this double bar of bc is simply equal to bc so if we take simply bc and multiply this ab with this term we'll get a bar into bc into ab now here you see here we have a dash or a bar and here we have a so when a multiplies with a bar that results into zero so final result of this term will be equal to zero so this is the simplified version of this boolean expression now let's jump to the next expression so in this expression you must remember that this dash represents bar so to solve this first we are going to multiply this b dash with these two terms and then we are going to multiply these two terms so as a result we'll get a b dash plus b b dash this a multiplies with this a and then it multiplies with this b dash we'll get a into a a into b dash and then a multiplies with this b and this b dash multiplies with this we'll get a b and b b dash and this b dash stay as it is now here you see b b dash will result into zero because a into a dash is equal to zero the same way this b into b dash will result into 0. Now here this a into a will result into a as per this law. So the simplified version of this will look like this a b dash plus a a b a b dash. Now here we have one a b dash and another a b dash. So by combining these two we can write only one a b dash right. And here you see a plus a b. So this a plus a b result into a. So we can write a plus a b dash. Now this a plus a b dash will result into a. So finally we are going to write a in place of this entire equation. So we will get a into b dash. So this a b dash will be the simplified version of this boolean expression. So here are two equations that you are supposed to solve by yourself and then write the simplified version into the comment section. And then I will respond to you whether it is final simplified or you can further simplify that version. In this method we have simplified boolean expression using boolean laws. In next video we are going to simplify boolean expression using Carnot map. So if you want to learn that jump to the next video. And to explore more similar content you can follow these two playlists. So see you into the next video.